is my 11 week pregnancy video. Yes, I am 11 weeks, double digits, very exciting. With symptoms, this week has been a big thing with um, nausea, still. <laughs> uh, yes, I still get nausea. I'm hoping, hoping and praying, cross your fingers for me that um, next week the nausea will start to wane and taper off. I really, really hope all the forums that I've read have said around 11 or 12 weeks the nausea will start to go away. Although some lucky people do get nausea the entire pregnancy. So I really, really hope I don't have that. I still have not puked at, like even once. Um, I have a really, really strong stomach. Otherwise, I think I would be, pu be puking a lot more. The nausea, um, it tends to be worse in the evenings and like at night. But then I'll have days like today where it's just been a constant day of nausea. I, I've, I had it in the morning. I have it, you know, right now in the afternoon. And I'm sure I'll have it in the evening. Um, I'm still taking a B6 vitamin. That doesn't really seem, I mean, like some days I think it helps but days like today where I've had nausea all day it does not help um, so it's kind of a bummer I have not been eating watermelon as much we just haven't gotten it at the store so I don't know if that's kind of a contributor I definitely think that I get more nauseous when I don't eat so that's definitely a contributor as well but I am ready to kick the nausea I just don't ha like it at all and it makes it so that I don't want to ever eat dinner because it's worse in the evening um, so it's just a bummer. So um, other than nausea, other symptoms I've been having, acne um, all over my face. Um, I have been noticing that a lot, um, which is not fun. It has usually just been staying around my face though and maybe like high on my neck, but it's usually just like my face, my jawline. Um, and different things like that. I'm petting my cat right now. Um, I can show you. Hi, Felix. <laughs> that's why I'm moving my arms. So if it looks weird, that's why. Um, I'm so really tired at night around 10, 10 30. Like that's my bedtime. I get very cranky if I don't get to go to bed on time. Um, I have been having, um, a little trouble sleeping. I'll, sometimes I'll get up and like really early in the morning because I have to go to the bathroom and then I won't be able to fall back asleep. I really, really just want to sleep on my back, um, but I, they say in pregnancy you should only be sleeping on your sides. So that's been a real bummer. Um, sometimes it's hard for me to get comfortable. I think pretty soon here I am going to go and get a pregnancy pillow. I think that'll help me a lot just to have something, you know. I, I already have a pillow that I put like between my legs, but um, I just need, I would really like a lot of back support just because my back hurts so much. I have been having like some really weird dreams lately, very weird and very vivid dreams. Um, and so I know they always say like when you're pregnant you have really vivid dreams, although I've heard a lot of people say that you have really scary dreams. So I've had a few of those, but not too, like not too bad. So we'll see if it gets worse like as the pregnancy goes on. I still go through um, phases where I'll get really, really hot or really, really cold. Um, so I've just always started bringing like a jacket around with me wherever I go because I'm just cannot decide what I want at night <laughs> or at any time in the day. I am um, showing, I think I have a little bit of a, uh, you know, stick out from my stomach like I was saying last week. Um, I'm not sure if it's bloating or if it's baby. Um, they say this week baby is the size of a lime. Uh, so getting bigger. So again, I'm not sure. I'm pretty sure that my uterus is still the size of a grapefruit. So I'm not sure if it's bloating or if this is actually baby that is making my stomach um, stick out. They say this week the baby, um, the hands, the webbed hands go away. Um, it's starting to be able to hear different things and it's starting to do somersaults and it can do flips and it's just moving a lot more. I guess this is the week where it, like babies really start to move a lot. Um, of course, unfortunately, I can't feel it yet. They say that like, especially with your first, you probably won't start feeling anything until the second trimester. 
which is a bummer, but I'm really excited to like feel those kicks and things like that. Next week, I'm really excited. Next week, I'll be 12 weeks and I have my next doctor's appointment. So I'm really excited to go to that. Um, Anthony's hoping that he will be make, able to make it as well. We will be able to see the baby again. We'll do another ultrasound. We'll get an updated picture and I'll be able to show you. Hopefully it won't look like a blob. <laughs> um, yeah, I'm sure um, they'll take more um, tests, more blood from me to run some more tests. Um, we'll get to hear the heartbeat, which I'm really excited because we weren't able to hear the heartbeat last time. So that should be a really, really exciting appointment. And basically they say after 12 weeks, you know, you're pretty out of the clear, you know, with miscarriage and everything. So I'm thinking pretty soon after that we'll start to, you know, announce to Facebook and um, you know, tell our other friends, um, not as close friends, you know, that we're pregnant. Um, cause we've told our close friends and that everybody is very, very excited for us. I'll be able to tell them and I'll actually be able to post these videos and then I can start actually posting weekly videos and you guys will be, um, up to date, like to, you know, the day instead of just getting these delayed. So that'll be really exciting. I think the most question that we get right now is... Are you gonna find out the gender and what do you want the gender to be? Um, so that's fun. Another big question that everybody always asks us is, have you thought of any names? Um, so we're still trying to figure all that out. I'm mostly concerned with, you know, figuring out the nursery and which room, because we have four rooms in our home, so um, lots of rooms to choose from when it comes to where the baby is going to sleep. But um, there's just so much research to be done on baby products and. Um, I'm a little overwhelmed with everything that I'm going to have to start to look at. And I think I'm just kind of pushing it all off until I find out the gender because I just keep telling myself like, oh, well, I can't buy anything if I don't know the gender because I want to get like gender specific like um, colors and things like that. So I think that's just like my easy out, my excuse of not buying anything yet. Um, but after I find out the gender, which I'm not sure when we're going to find out. Um, I know some people find out the gender early because they do the genetic testing and that usually tells you along with it the gender, but um, it's a little expensive for us to do it and our insurance really doesn't help us out at all with it. So I think we might not do that. So the earliest we might be able to do is 16 weeks, um, definitely 20 weeks, but I know at 16 you could always just go to you know, a 3D ultrasound and they could just look for it there. Um, but I think we want to do, you know, we're definitely going to do a gender reveal party and we want to um, do it, I think, around Thanksgiving just because everybody will be home and it'll be, you know, I just think that would be great. Anthony still, I don't know if I told you guys about this yet, but Anthony wants to know the gender right away and I think it would be more fun. I do remember telling you guys this, yeah. So I think it would be fun if we didn't know and we found out with everyone else at the gender reveal party. So he's stubborn and he still is wanting to find out right away. Of course if he finds out right away there's no way I'm going to let him find out and me not because he'll just torture me with the information and he'll probably slip up because he's terrible at keeping secrets. So I don't know, we'll see how that goes. As far as food cravings and food aversions go, for food aversions, I'm really sad. I don't like chicken, which is crazy because if you knew me before this, I absolutely love chicken. I ate chicken like almost every time I went out to the restaurant. I just love it, love it, love it. And now I just, it makes me so sad. Anthony was laughing at me because I was almost in tears at the restaurant the other day when we went. I'm just so sad. Like I just want... I love chicken and it just limits so much more. I just can't do it. The only time I can do chicken is at like Chick-fil-A where I get like the chicken um, strips. I can do those, but that's about it. I can't do anything else. I Especially like chicken that's just like there and there's nothing covering it, I can't. Um, same with steak. I used to love steak and now I just can't do it. I don't know if it's the texture or just like the fact that it's dry, I don't know, I just, I can't do it. Like, thinking about me, thinking about it right now just makes me, you know, want to puke. Ugh. Um, 
food cravings. I really haven't been having too many cravings. I mean, I have things that I'm like, oh yeah, I really wish I had that. But I think to myself, like, but would I be wanting that whether I was pregnant or not? Like, it's things like, oh, chocolate cake. I go see a commercial for chocolate cake and I'm like, oh, that sounds really good. Or ice cream or chocolate chip cookies. So nothing like weird, nothing crazy. I think I'm still pretty um, early to have, you know, things like that. But nothing too crazy yet. Um, my clothing is still fitting. Some of my clothes that are a little bit tighter, you can definitely start to see, you know, a pouch um, around my stomach area. And I can't tell if people looking at it think that I'm pregnant or that I'm fat. So I've just been wearing like mostly baggy clothes like this shirt. Um, just so I can hide it but all my pants still fit so that's awesome I have not had to buy maternity clothes yet so that is good although I have heard that maternity pants and maternity jeans are awesome and they're just like super comfy um, but everything's still fitting right now I just have to remember to wear kind of looser shirts just because I don't want people you know thinking that I'm fat um, let me uh, show you a baby bump for week 11 all right so here is week 11 and from the side see I mean it's not I'm pretty sure you know compared to last week's video it's about the same I mean I'm trying not to like pooch it out so it's really not that much um, here's from the other side I mean I can definitely like feel something there but you know whether that's just bloating or baby um, I'm really not sure the funny thing is, um, I weigh myself about every other day um, just to see, you know, how I'm doing. And I've actually lost weight since I first weighed myself when I first found out I was pregnant. So I've actually lost a couple pounds, um, which does not surprise me because this nausea is just kicking my butt. I just don't want to eat at all. I don't want to eat anything. And like if I do eat, I only eat like half of the meal because I just, I get full so fast. So, um, it's kind of concerning, but it's not too bad. They usually say, like, you shouldn't gain any weight, like, at all in the first trimester, and then starting in the second trimester, you should start, like, gaining uh, every week. So, it's definitely something to keep in mind. I mean, I would love to keep eating. I love food, but not with this nausea. Um, but I'm almost out of the first trimester, which is really exciting. I can't believe, like, wow, I'm almost done with the first trimester. That's crazy. I still feel like I have a long way to go, you know. I think about April, and I'm in September right now, and I'm like, oh, that's just so far away. But everybody always is like, actually, it'll come a lot faster than you think it will. <laughs> so... Um, a little nerve-wracking, but I'm excited. I think that is it. Um, thank you for tuning in for my 11-week um, update. Tune in next week um, because I'll have tons of information and a new ultrasound picture. I'm so excited. I cannot wait to see baby Denzel again, my little blob. Um, and so I'll have lots to tell you guys about how that appointment went. So stay tuned. Bye, guys.